All right, guys. It is Tuesday, December 14th, 2021, at 2.41 p.m. All right, let's start with a Bible verse from dailyverses.net. Verse of the day it says, You are my refuge and my shield. I put my hope in your word. Psalm 119, verse 114. Um, as you guys know, I don't really go too much into the meaning of verses and Bible study and all this stuff. Um, but I do bring the verses so you guys can uh, share them and enjoy them. Um, I point you to God and Jesus and you follow your path. Alright guys, let's take a look at this story brought to you by Dabu777. So Dabu, I'll leave you the link to his video as well. Uh, it says, heads up, FBI warns Los Angeles Sheriff Department that CV-19 test, the DNA will be likely sent to China. That is a big yikes for people who had a COVID-19 test. The DNA will be likely be sent to China. Let's take a look at an article here from uh, Zero Hedge. It says, is Beijing weaponizing your DNA? Why is U.S. DNA processing firm sharing America's DNA with China? The answer is staggering. It says, if you had a CV-19 test, there's a good possibility that the folks in the Chinese Communist Party and the People's Liberation Army have your DNA. If so, they probably know more about your health and DNA vulnerabilities than you do. The implications of that are disturbing, to say the least. The company contacted to conduct the CV-19 test is Fulgent Genetics, a nationwide DNA sequencing and disease testing firm According to the firm's website, its stated mission is developing flexible and affordable genetic testing that improves the everyday lives of those around us. Apparently, we are to believe that Fulgen Genetics is here to improve all of our lives. Deep ties to China. On November 29th, the Office of the Sheriff of Los Angeles posted a letter to the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors. The letter stated that the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department would not be participating in the CB-19 testing with Fulgen Genetics. The letter explained that the Federal Bureau of Investigations uh, Weapons of Mass Destruction Directorate had warned Sheriff Alex Villanueva's office at the risk of the DNA samples. From the CB-19 test, the Fulgen Genetics was to provide would likely be shared with the Republic of China. Villanueva also said in a press briefing that the Fulgen had strong ties with BGI, Wu XP and the Huawei technology, all of which are linked to the Chinese Academy of Medical Sciences, the People's Republic of China State Council, and are under the control of the PRC. Questions abound. Several questions came to mind. Who or what is Fortune Genetics Corporation? Why would American company wish to provide American DNA samples? Why on earth would China want DNA samples from Americans? For what purpose? How many American DNA samples do they already have? And most importantly, what does our DNA have to do with the FBI's concern with weapons of mass destruction from China? The answer to these and other questions are the stuff of dystopian worst case scenarios are discussed below, but first, some background on Fulgen Genetics. Who is Fulgen Genetics? The firm was founded in 2019 by Ming Xie, Chairman of the Board of Directors, President and Chief Executive Officer, and James Xie, a Chief o uh, Operating Officer. He, uh, he served as a trustee at Fudan University in China since 2011. Xie received his bachelor's degree in engineering from Chongqing University in China in 1987. Perhaps not surprisingly, both men have deep ties to China. And apparently, Fulgen has been sharing American DNA from coast to coast with China. As noted in Villanueva's statement, it's not only PLA proxy company engaged in harvesting American genetic material, there are others as well, and millions upon millions of people's DNA from America and many other places in the world have been sent to China. This is where things get dark or weapons of mass destruction department of China wants to create a bio-warfare uh, that targets your DNA. So I'll leave you the link for the rest of it, but some of the topics here are uh, bio-warfare and DNA manipulation, and U.S. versus China, and bio-warfare technology goes viral. So you guys can read the rest of this article. It's a big yikes and a big heads up for anybody 
who has taken any of these tests, also uh, any uh, genetics test uh, at all, uh, where they test your genetics and they're like, oh, what part of the country are you from? You know, what are your genetics, uh, you know, uh, family-wise? So a big heads up for you people who do DNA tests, it probably goes to China. All right, next. FEMA chief calls deadly tornadoes new normal due to climate change. A huge message from FEMA. This is from Rise Up Warrior. Lewis does a great job in his channel. But this is the headline, FEMA chief calls deadly tornadoes new normal due to climate change. So heads up, there's also, uh, I'm going to make another video later talking about um, the possibility of no, no, new tornadoes coming to the middle of the country again. Possibly, I think, tomorrow. But um, let's cover something else. California orders statewide indoor mask mandate. California is implementing a statewide mass mandate in all indoor public settings regardless of vaccination status beginning December 15th, which is tomorrow. So heads up for the people of California. I'll also leave this link so you guys can check out this article. All right, next. Hong Kong forcing UK and US arrivals into quarantine camps after single asymptomatic Omicron case. Hong Kong residents returning from the United States are being forced to spend one week in Spartan quarantine camp, after which they must serve out two weeks in a hotel room that they pay for themselves, according to the South China Morning Post. The new measures, which were announced on Friday, come after the city's health authorities elevated the country to the highest COVID-19 risk level, prompted by one confirmed case of the Omicron variant in a traveler from the U.S., a asymptomatic 37-year-old man who has received two doses of the Pfizer vaccine and traveled to Los Angeles on December 7th. In a press release, the city said that those arriving from the U.S. would be subject to the most stringent quarantine and testing requirements, which would take effect on Monday. So heads up for those traveling to Hong Kong, either from the U.S. or the U.K. I'll leave you guys the link to this article as well. All right, next. Ukraine lashes out at Germany for blocking NATO weapon supply. The Ukraine is angrily pointing the finger at Germany for blocking NATO weapon sales to the country as Kiev officials continue sounding the alarm over preparations for a possible Russian invasion. Ukraine's defense minister Olesky Resignov lashed out to Berlin during a fresh Financial Times interview. They continue to build the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline and at the same time block, block our purchases of defensive weapons. This is very unfair he said he pointed that in germany blocking nato transfer uh dis describing also the last month germany voted ukraine's purchase of anti-drone weapons and other uh defense and military gear through nato support and procurement agency but germany leaders have recently signaled they believe only a political solution can resolve the crisis and ensure the lasting peace of the dumbass region a public of the merkel government stated so I'll leave you guys the link as well so you guys can read more into what Germany and uh, Ukraine are hashing it out because of weapons. All right, next. California schools phase out the D and F grades for high school students. As high school students transition out of distance learning imposed by pandemic restrictions, several California districts are dropping the use of D and F grades in an attempt to re-engage students in schools and boost energy into the state's public colleges. So Los Angeles Un Unified, Oakland Unified, Sacramento City Unified, and San Diego Unified are among the districts phasing out the D and F grades for high school students. If students fail a test or don't finish their homework, they will be given another chance to retake the test or receive an extension on submitting assignments. Alright guys, that's I believe it. Oh no, there's one more. All right, South Korea to use facial recognition cameras to track COVID cases, ensure mask compliance. So authorities in South Korea are set to the country's facial recognition camera network to track people with COVID in real time and ensure they're wearing face masks. So heads up to South Korean people who travel to South Korea, you're being tracked and monitored. 
All right, guys, I'll leave you the link to all those articles, and see you guys next time. God bless you guys.